guitar has a bender in it. And not just any bender, a McVeigh B bender. So why a McVeigh bender, you ask? Well, let's take a look at an early bender. In fact, this may be the first one, Parson White Bender. Look at all the wood that had to come out of the guitar. Now, you're not going to be routing that much wood with your Dremel, I hope. Look at all the gizmos in there, all the levers and gears and so forth. It reminds me of the brakes on my 66 Mustang. And I have no idea where my brake tool is. Okay, here is a more recent bender. I believe this might have been on uh, something that Fender put out. It's considerably simpler, but there's still a pretty big chunk of wood that's routed out of the guitar to fit this thing. Let's see how much routing is needed for a McVeigh bender. Oh, look at that. There is no routing needed for a McVeigh bender. If I take that back, there's a very small route under this three bolt plate here, but it fits under a three bolt plate. And there's a small route underneath the B string. In my case, since I have a B bender, if you've got a G bender, that routing would be under the G string. That's it. There is an adjustment on the top for the tuning. There is an adjustment on the bottom for the tension in the spring. And that's it. You wouldn't even know this guitar had a bender if you didn't look closely. In the interest of full disclosure, I am a friend of Charlie McVeigh's. In fact, we've done some gigs together. And Charlie McVeigh is also a very fine pedal steel player. In fact, legendary in these parts. In fact, here I am uh, gigging at a show with Charlie. You're gonna to wanna to check out McVeigh Benders. I will put a link in the description below to Charlie's website. I mean, these benders are good enough for Brad Paisley and Biff Parsons. What more do you need to say? Thanks for watching.